So one minute Wednesday? Yeah, so yeah, th you're right. This is supposed to be a one minute Wednesday, but this is one cache, but... Not in a minute? No, it, there's more to what we're gonna show you than we'll, we wanna fit in a then minute. Then it can't be a one minute no. Wednesday. No, so we're gonna say it's a one cache, more than a minute Wednesday. Okay. All right, one cache. Many more minutes. Uh, cue the title. We don't need to start the clock. Oh, you're right. Well, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> Our folks a little slippery inside. It's a tin bug. So it's right on the left of this island over there? Yeah, see those those two islands right there? Yeah. And then we're gonna go we're gonna go right out there. Maybe in the middle of there's if you can see from the satellite photo, there's two rocks out there somewhere. You know what that's at? So let's just look here. Yeah. So that's exactly what's going on in the water. So we got oh these one? What? I heard it that way. It looks like Can it's I, to the right. Yeah, it's to the right there. I think it's probably something like that. These are the two island and these are just rocks and mud flat. Yeah, yeah so to the right. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. There you know. So we're with uh, Manuel and he's going to take us to the location that we need to go to. And you're an expert guide, obviously. You must know where you're going. Yeah, we do well watching, bear watching, and I'll sort of tour around here. So yeah. we're going to find your spot. There awesome. they are, those two rocks right there. See these two right here? That's where we're going to take a picture of. Oh, those right there. Those two. So Aubrey, we already got to the location we need. It's right to the right. We'll show you that. This is for a virtual geocache with a very rare rating. All right, what's the other cool things we can see in the next 15 so minutes? Those two rocks right there. Yep, those two. And the shoreline. That's right, We're right here. It's such a crazy trip to come to. Those two rocks and the shoreline with a selfie, that's all you need for this virtual. Usually it's a, like a good 20 minute boat ride just to get there, so. But maybe we're gonna get lucky on the way. All right, we got what we needed, now it's just fun time. You got the virtual, what do you think? A four or five? <laughs> You know, compared to all the other ones, you know, it's kind of interesting. You look at all the other four or fives in the world, it is, this is by far the easiest. Yeah. And look how far we had to come for this one. <laughs> and get a boat and get out here to get to those two rocks. Yeah. It was not easy. So, I'll tell you what, it was, it's, it's so exciting. Three more for our grids. Nice. Our virtual grid, we had three more caches to finish our virtual grid. So, and, uh, yeah, TTO1 yeah. and TTO2. Yeah. Awesome. Love TTO2. I love being out here. I mean, this is... This is why you geocache, is to go places like this and see things like this, so loving it. More, more adventure the better. Yeah. All this way to come and take a picture with two rocks. Our starboard side, you guys can see kind of a clear opening on the island. And it looks like a dead log on the ground, but it's actually an end-curve okay. canoe that was used back in days for whale hunting by the First Nation around. Oh, amazing. You can see a first one, clear looking wood, and a darker one yep. sticking out up there. Nice. And this uh, this tribe over there is part of the same one as SOS that on, you guys saw it on your left at Long Beach when you guys was driving through? Right. Yep. They are part of the same tribe. So these one are about 150 that live over there. And about another 40 right around the corner. It's called Long Comb over there. TTO1 and TTO2, Kathy and Vince, are our very first patrons from Patreon for Cash Canada. They invited us on this expedition to get to and log this virtual, which is one of only eight like it for that rating of 4 or 5 in the world. They only need three more squares to complete their virtual visit.
so cute. You can't have a bad day when you see a sea oh, otter. It's just, so they're so, so funny. Point, like the one you did. And then that was an incredible experience. And remember, there are only eight virtual geocaches with that rating of four or five in the entire world. Three and a half million geocaches, but of this type, there's only eight worldwide and only two in Canada. One here in Tofino, BC, and the other is in mid Saskatchewan. Got it. <laughs> Well, that was an awesome adventure with TTO1 and TTO2. Thank you so yes. much. That was fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. And how many of those ratings do you have now? Well, Only we one have. of those. Only one? One of those, one of those. One of those, those, those one of those? For virtual caches, yeah. Yeah, so that's so working, the... working towards your virtual fizzy grid. That's right. Three and left? It, three left. It, three can, left it can be done. Yep. And these yep. guys are going to be the first to complete it, I think. And hopefully you're on the trip with us and we get the final one. Oh, that'll, that'll be, be awesome. That'll Look be forward to that next summer on Cache Canada. Mm -hmm. And then Karen says her thing. Um, what's my thing? Keep, <laughs> watch, uh, keep watching. No, I don't. <laughs> and then we all do, where will Geocaching take you? Keep watching. There's many more caches to be found. Where, where will, will Geocaching take you? Awesome.